Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy. And uh, one of you guys in the comment section asked for me to do Federation versus Klingons in the Enterprise era using only NX class ships. So that is what I am doing. As you can see, the NX class costs uh, 1,800 command points, and I only have 1,600 left over. Therefore, I can't get another one. And since you said only NX class ships, I'm not gonna buy a different ship like the Poseidon class, which I can't afford either. Like the Minuteman class, which I, which I could afford, I could get it, but if it's only NX, then that is all that I am going to use. So uh, if I hit engage here, now um, I don't know if you meant that, like, in total, the only things battling against the Klingons could be NX class ships, because that's probably not going to be the case, because I have the Federation here as an AI assisting us, and I don't, I have no control over what ships they choose. Um, <clears throat> but I am using only NX class ships for myself. And we have five respawns. We're at Agilon because that usually condenses the battles and they usually go kind of quicker there. Which is a good thing because it's kind of hard to um, uh, end these uh, Star Trek Enterprise era battles easily because the weapons on these ships are not that powerful so it takes a long time to defeat the other uh, team. So I figure the smaller space we're chasing around each other in the uh, quicker this will go, and the less boring it is. Alright, so all three of us are forming up on each other. Well, actually, we're just sort of converging on one spot. Um, yes, yeah, so we have taken the Predator shields down, and I've mentioned this many times before, that, but the Predator reminds me of um, sort of like an early version of a D7 or a Katinga, and I need to fix my hull. Come on, there we go. Okay, we have... Do not want caps lock on. We have defeated one ship. What else is down? Weapons are down. Whoa! That torpedo came down in, like, slow motion. And we are dead. Now, I can fly right through this nebula and not have any adverse effects because of it. Because all it does is take down shields. And guess what the Federation does not have? Shields. Okay, now, if I can look back this way, maybe? Nope. There is a guy in there. I'm not gonna focus on anyone else until... Yes. A guy with no shields. Once I destroy him, not if, once I destroy him, we will move on. Alright. Hey, look! Our allies do have a uh, NX-class ship. So I guess that's a good thing. Now, I don't know how many of them they have, but they at least have one. And all I've seen so far are NX-class ships, because the other guys are way over there. Though there is a Yorktown-class way up there that's about to explode. <laughs> and it just exploded. And there is another NX-class Enterprise. And there's the NX-class Enterprise. So there's two of us running around. I have not been paying attention to the battle. I've just been babbling about the NX-class. So, uh, torpedoes? No. Yes, there we go. So the torpedoes are underneath the saucer on this thing. I'll have to remember that. Which way to tilt my ship. Come on, there we go. And let's go for that stinger. If we can. Which I think we can, yeah. There's nothing stopping us. Come on. And beautiful kill. Well... I guess all the kills in this game are pretty much similar looking, so there's not a major difference. But I think it's beautiful, because this game is very pretty. Captain, cling on vessels. Moving along to the K-30. Now, this is the most powerful ship that the Klingons have in this era. This is the K-30 battleship. Of course, you guys already know that, because you've seen me use it, and you've seen me fight against it before. But I just like to repeat myself. Alright, let's let's try to fix the hull. Now, I've mentioned this many, many times before. I do not like to repair the hull on these ships, but seeing as it's the only thing damaged, I might as well. The issue with that is that it lowers your, your speed, and if I had shields, it would lower the shield regenerativity. Regenerativity, there's a nice word. And it does not... Um, it detracts from how quickly the uh, weapons recharge on the ships. Now, I'm not really seeing any noticeable difference right now, but I'm sure if I was not repairing, it would go quicker. 
the recharge rate, I mean. We're about to lose ship numero three. Let's, um, that's one. There we go, there's three. Let's, let's try that. Nope, nope, nope. Let's, yep, okay, we are, oh, we are kind of missing an engine. We're kind of missing a ship and a crew. <laughs> Not just an engine anymore. Alright, let's, let's get this predator. They are the prey today. Um, yes, we do still have respawns. Why am I not moving? Movement is essential, please. Thank you. And my stomach just uh, made a noise. I apologize for that if you heard it. I don't think you did, but if you did, well, it wasn't in your head, it was real. And we're doing a front flip. Alright, come on, guys. Let's, uh, I'm gonna switch to this ship because it's still new and not destroyed yet. And how many of them are there? Oh, there's still so many enemy ships. I don't know how many ships I've lost, and you know what? Let's let's go for the let's go for that. And three. Come on, I should be I should not have any issues warping. I'm pretty sure I'm far enough away. There we go. All right. Oh, it's a K-30 over here. That's what the issue is. And I cannot warp, but that is okay. Eventually I'll get past the plant and then I'll be able to warp. Moving right along. There we go. Warp. And stop. There we go. Let's put this K-30 in its place. Which is nowhere. Meaning that its place would be out of existence after it is done exploding. That is the end goal of this. To make all of the Klingon ships uh, cease to exist. Even though they look cool, cannot let them live. And these NX-class ships are actually working really well. I wasn't sure how well they do since they're... Whoa, that guy... I think is, um... Hold on. Hey, I got him in a tractor beam. There we go. This is our. This is now our, our mobile turret. <laughs> because he can fire. And we can just pull him around. Interesting. Yeah, so this is the tractor beam feature. If you guys have not seen it, you just hold F. And then select tractor beam. And, uh, yeah, I'm victorious, and I'm tractoring a, uh, Yorktown class. You, you don't see that every day. Okay, I got ten kills with those three NX class ships, although I had more than three because, obviously, they respawned and came back, so it was more, uh, whatever, three plus five, eight, I believe. I think I had eight ships. Because, yeah, five respawns, three ships to start out with, yeah. I can't imagine my math is wrong, but if it is, I apologize, even though it's not. So, uh, we got 10 kills, our allies got 9 kills, so we obviously were superior in strength, and the enemy got a total of 10 kills um, with the two teams combined, or two um, fleets combined. So that took just under 7 minutes for us to defeat the Klingons using uh, just NX class ships for myself. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this epic battle at this early stage and uh, the Federation's development in the Klingon Empire, this early timeline. And uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more, because I make videos like this all the time, every day. Well, I don't make them all the time, but I upload them all the time, and that's the important thing. Um, so I, I make them on, on the weekends. So, yeah. Anyway, um, if you guys did not like this video, I do ap apologize for that. Please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is I can do to improve the next videos that I make, so that hopefully you guys can enjoy them. Uh, and as always, if you guys want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, which is what this video was, someone asked for NX-class ships fighting Klingons, and that is exactly what they got, um, please leave a comment in the comment section about that. Uh, I will read those, and I will try to use those ideas in my future videos that I make in the future. Uh, so yeah, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I will see you next time.